There is a brand new multi-step easter egg in Battlefield 2042 with shades of the Phantom program and four new unlocks including a super rare deagle skin and hints at some kind of mind controlled zombies in season 6 on the new map. I'm not joking, this was all worked out by the Battlefield easter egg community and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step now. Drop me a like below and let's get into it. First things first, you want to make your own portal server and make sure the map is on reclaimed and then head over here to the back of the E1 flag next to the are you spawn and you're going to see a little radio on the ground here and all you have to do is interact with it and that's going to set you off on your journey once you've done that you're going to head west to the other side of the e1 objective and over here by the wall next to the blue crate you're going to see a skull and you should get a interaction here to leave a signal so go ahead and do that and it will spray paint a symbol on the wall to let people know that you've been there and then we're going to head over to the D flag inside the tunnels here. In the corner, it's another skull. Go up ahead, leave a signal. There's another one. I'm showing you on the map where that is, nice and easy. And the final act of graffiti is over here by the C1 objective, this white crate. In between the fence, squeeze in there and you'll see it. Leave that signal, put some spray paint down. And then we're going to head back to where we started originally. And so head back to the E1 objective over towards the RU spawn the wall where we started and interact with the radio one last time. And that's going to unlock the timeless player card. This is step one. Do not skip this step. You need that player card. There's a closer look at the player card there. So you can see that's the sky on the new season six map. The rumors are that it's fake. It's a projection almost because the actual level is set in an underground facility. The card talks about people being strapped down and fit with combat implants. No anesthetic. The plot thickens. Next step, we need to load up on Hourglass. Again, make your own portal server. You could have made a map rotation, put Hourglass a second. Jump in, go to the E1 objective. And we're looking for the big building here, the Burj Al Khaledj. I'm gonna go inside to the reception. You might hear it already around here and you'll see another radio under the desk that's where it is on the map go ahead interact with it and then we're going to go to a different location you guys don't have to come here but once you've interacted with that radio if you head to the b1 objective in the tunnel you'll hear a tapping hear that on the pipe so that is tap code it spells out the word palace and the Easter egg community use that to figure out what to do in the next step just to give you guys a bit of context. So next we're going to head over toward the RU spawn under the bridge and there's a big white container. Can't miss it. And we're going to jump on the flatbed. You'll see a green light next to it. Six buttons that can be interacted with. What does it mean? Where are they from? Who am I? Is the matrix real? All these questions that need to be answered. So it turns out that these are symbols from the alchemy table and numbers can be assigned to them. And it was figured out that if you spell the word palace with the numbers here, you'll be able to unlock it and get what's inside. So we're going to imagine that these are numbered one to six left to right. And I'm going to show you the order you have to press them now. So we're going to start with number one. And then we're going to move on to number four. And then we're going to go back to one. And then we're going to press one again. And then we're going to go to number two. Then we're going to go back to one. Two again. One again. One again. And then finally, all the way over to the right, number six. That should open up. Inside, you'll find a laptop. Collect it, recover the evidence. And on the wall on the left, it says his dark creations will end us all. Looks like it's written in blood. I mean, it's zombies then. Dark creations, alchemy. Battlefield finally gets zombies. Something's going down this Halloween, I'm sure of it. So once you've collected the evidence, the laptop, go back to the E1 building where we started. Interact with the radio. And you should unlock the happy birthday card. I don't know why it's called happy birthday but there it is maybe it is your birthday today if it is congratulations you're not dead yet closer look at it here that's the new map i guess operation locker operation metro vibes 
and it talks about an AI system creating our future. AI controlled zombies, that's what I'm going with. Final step, make a portal server on Orbital. Load it up, get in there. Word of warning, you're gonna need a full squad to do this. You need to have friends. Ah, uh, everyone closes the video and gives up. But <laughs> maybe go on the Battlefield Easter Egg Discord if you want friends. There's a lot of people on there trying to do this. Or just get your closest mates to help you out. I'm sure they will. Also, everyone in the squad has to have completed the previous two steps to do the final step. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. This little military shack here by the A1 objective. In here, just in the corner on the right, look what it is. It's a radio playing Morse code. And there's four buttons on the map that have appeared. Each person in the squad has to be at one of these buttons. The first one is over here by B1, just on the roof. There it is. There's a little M on it. One person has to go there. Another person has to come to this roof next to the B2 objective. And that's the second button. There's a little I symbol on it. There it is on the map for reference. The third button is on the roof of A1, the biggest building on the map. There it is. The V on it. Quite easy to find that one, to be honest. Helicopters are really useful in this, by the way. And the fourth button, as the rocket rudely interrupts me and takes off. There he goes. Taking satellites to space. I digress. So the fourth button is on top of this. There it is. And there's a weird squiggly line on it. Looks like a cherry. I'm going to go with cherry or a pear. We'll go with pear. So now you know the location of all the buttons. Get your squad together. And you're all going to go into the military shack and interact with the radio that I showed you. So one after another, just go in, interact with it, make sure that you've all done it. Receive those instructions. And then between you, each one of you can pick a button to go to. When everyone is at their own individual button, you have to press these in a certain order, one by one after each other. And you have to do it pretty quickly too, so don't dawdle. So here's the order then. The first one is on the B1 roof, the one that has the M on it, so interact with that one first. The next button in the sequence is the one with the I on it, near the B2 objective, so do that one second. The third button to press in the sequence is the one on top of the A1 roof with the V on it, so press that one third. And the fourth button in the sequence is the one on top of the tower, the cherry or the pear, so press that one fourth. So if you've done it correctly, something might happen in your game. In our game, the rocket exploded as soon as we did it. But that's irrelevant. Just kind of cool. That is a big explosion. Anyway, next we want to head into the A1 objective. You know where they house the rocket. Head into the center of the building up the stairs. It says R5 on the wall. Near the flags. And you'll find this little case. And inside is a data drive full of Intel evidence basically that we need to prove what's going on in this weird underground facility so go ahead and grab that also looks like a tasty waffle although i wouldn't advise trying to eat it last but not least jump off fly down here triumphantly up the ladder we're gonna head over to the military shack and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna interact with that radio and if you've done it right that will unlock the echo state weapon charm and the ghost killer deagle skin Wow, incredible. Pat yourself on the back. Let's take a look. So that's the weapon charm there, Echo State. It's a brain with electric wiring in it. Come on. AI controlling people's brains, turning them into zombies. It's going to happen. And there's the Deagle skin, Ghost Killer. Looks like a carpet from the 1970s, maybe. I'm not sure how many people will get this, so it might be quite rare if you manage to do all the steps. Anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop me a like. Hope this helped. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.